Hi, this is Vasavi from Atom Tuition. Uh, today we are going to learn about the coordinate geometry, the basics of coordinate geometry. In coordinate geometry, what we basically do is we learn how to fix a point in a definite position between the two uh, perpendicular lines. So I make that clear before going on to the coordinate geometry, the number line where you have the numbers, all both positive and negative numbers, right? So, uh, on to your right of 0, you have all positive numbers, 1, 2, 3, likewise. And on to your left side of the 0, it is negative 1, negative 2, all negative numbers, right? So, actually in a number line, we all know that the value of the numbers increases as you go from left to right, right? What did I mean by that? Negative 3 is always less than negative 2. Okay, and negative, negative 2 is less than negative 1. Negative 1 is less than 0. 0 is less than 1. Okay, likewise it goes. It is easy to f uh, fix a point on a number line. Uh, that is, if I say point 2, it is easy for me to show that it is over here, right? Point negative 3. So, I can show it is on this point, okay? So, showing a number on a number line on the line is easy but in coordinate geometry we try to um, uh, name or locate a point outside the line which is on the space okay so it is on the plane which is on the plane okay now in coordinate geometry we normally indicate a point say for point say if it is point p we normally indicate point p by the coordinates coordinates okay that is x y coordinates you would say where it is on x okay and uh, how far it is away from your x axis and from your y axis so i that you uh, i can explain to you with example later so just for time being uh, it is just each point is represented by x y coordinates okay and this x this is x coordinate okay and this one would be your y coordinate okay where do we represent this these coordinates actually so for this we have a x y graph okay you call it x y plane or x y graph or you can say 2d plane two dimensional plane okay and uh, or you can also call it cartesian plane here you find two perpendicular line one uh, one is horizontal and you call them x axis you call it x axis and the vertical line over here is called as y axis okay here the midpoint here will have it will have zeros of x as well as y okay so this we call it as origin okay i just name it here so this is called as origin where your x and y values are 0 and here your point is your x is 0 as well as your y is 0 okay it is 0 comma 0 over here now uh, talking about the x axis on to the right of the uh, 0 okay you have all positive numbers so you call them x and on to your left of the 0 you have all negative numbers and this is named as x dash okay likewise now uh, when you look at the vertical line i said the middle point is zero right y is zero and the points above the y is always positive and you name it as y and the points below the zero is negative and that is y dash okay this plane you call it as cartesian plane you can otherwise call it as uh, x y graph or two dimensional plane or whatever so this is a plane it is not a line okay so you can represent any point on this plane these two lines okay the the vertical and the horizontal that is your x axis and y axis divides the plane into four parts okay and each part see this is first part this one is second part here you have the third one, third and here you have the fourth one, okay? 
and each of these are called as quadrants. So you have four quadrants here. You have the first, second, third and the fourth quadrant on the xy plane. Is that clear? Now, any point on this plane could be represented only by the xy coordinates. Okay, you have to say where it lies on x and the y. Okay, the point x, the x coordinate shows how far the point is from the y axis and the y coordinate shows how far it is from the x axis. Okay, let us look deeply into this quadrant. So I said this is your first quadrant, right? Here you find all your x values are positive and even your y values are positive, right? At this place, at your first quadrant, you have all your x values positive and the y values positive because it is between the x and y plane, right? So here your coordinates will both be positive. I just represent it like this. Both the x and y are positive, okay? And in the second quadrant, you find the x is negative. It is x dash, right? It is between x dash and y. And the y is positive. So here you have the x coordinate as negative and y coordinate is positive, okay? So you have a negative x coordinate and a positive y coordinate in the second quadrant. At the third quadrant, you can see that it is between the x dash and y dash, right? So both are negative numbers. So here your values are both negative. Your x and y values are both negative. Got it? And finally on the fourth quadrant, you see that your x values are positive and y is negative. That is it is between x and y dash. So here you will have a positive x values and a negative y values. Okay? Now, let us see how to mark the points. So, let us see how to plot this. Before plotting, let me make one thing clear to you. See, the each box is over here. When you divide the x-axis and the y-axis into different parts, it will be equidistant, okay? The distance between 0 to 1 and 1 to 2 and 2 to 3 or uh, 0 to negative 1 or between any two consecutive numbers should be same. Now let us do 3 comma, the first one 3 comma 4. Your P value, the point, normally it will be represented by always the X coordinate first and the Y coordinate later. Okay. So here your X coordinate is 3. So it should be from the 0 in the X, your 3 is over here, right? And uh, Y coordinate is 4, positive 4. So it is over here. Just go straight from 4 as well as 3. And the point where these meet, these two lines meet is your A. Got it? So your point A is over here. These dotted lines are not necessary. I just showed that for you to understand. Okay. Now let us mark B. Here your X value is negative 3, right? So your negative 3 is over here and your Y value is 6. So it is the first line, right? So this point is my B. Got it? See, you can see that in the second quadrant your X value is negative and the Y value is positive. Okay, so that is your B. Now let us mark 4 comma negative 3 your x is positive and your y is negative so that should be on your fourth quadrant right so here your x is 4 and the y is negative 3 so the point where they both meet okay 4 and negative 3 they meet at this point so this is your c and the next one is negative 1 and negative 4 here both are negative so that should be in the third quadrant where you have all negative values. So it is minus 1 to minus 4 and it is over here and that is your D. Okay. Now for E it, show, it says 0 comma 0. So here I told you your X and Y value is 0 at its origin. Right. 
So this should be your E. Your E is a place where your X and Y is are 0. Okay. So it is the point where the two uh, axes meet. Okay. Now look at this F. Here it says your X is 0 and your Y is 3. So your X is 0 and your Y is 3. So the point is over here. Did you get that? So when X is 0 and the Y value is given, the point will be on the Y axis. And this point is F. Got it? And the last one is X value is given and the Y value is 0. So when you have only value for the X, then the point should be on the X axis and it is at minus 5. So this would be your point. Okay. And that is your G. So this is how you plot the point on a Cartesian plane. So this is the basic thing and you have more to learn on this chapter like uh, finding out the distance, uh, midpoint and all those. Let us see in the next video. I hope you understood all this. Thank you. See you. Bye.